happiness is with me now. I have dropped my worries, nowhere to go, nothing to do. No longer in a hurry Happiness Is with me now I have dropped My worry Somewhere to go, something to do, but not in a hurry. Those were my first words in six days, 144 hours, and wow, it feels, <sighs> joyous, joyous, I'm celebrating, I'm celebrating my own voice, it feels it feels beautiful. I feel such a, a warmth and a love inside. And I feel grateful, of course. Six days alone in solitude in the Everglades. And it was a... There, it was, there was a lot of difficulty, a lot of biting insects, um, hot sun, oh, the wind, five days straight of 10 to 15 mile per hour wind, the overstimulation that I was experiencing when I desired silence so much, and the ocean was fierce. The insects came to me with fierceness. I experienced diarrhea for a few days. I was struggling. But amongst the struggle was such a level of joy. <sighs> An aliveness out here. There's so much life. I've realized that what I seek so deeply is aliveness. It's what I want. I want to feel alive. And the climate control, the air conditioning in the homes, in the offices, in the cars, to me, I feel dead inside when I walk into those places. There is no life. The life has been removed through this climate control. Of course, we are in there, but all other life is gone. And out here, there is life. There is so much of it, and yes, it bites you and it wants to eat you, and it's hard, <laughs> but I'm alive out here, and oh, it brings me back. It brings me back to society with the strength that I need, the... The resilience that I need, I get it out here. I am fed. My soul is fed out here and I come back and I can handle the hecticness and the busyness of life and even the bit of the rat race that I live trying to accomplish so much. And I'm happy to be doing it, but sometimes I feel in a state of chaos 
and it's a struggle. And I know I have another hopefully 30, 40, 50 years dedicated to being of service to Earth, to humanity, and to our plant and animal relatives, and I will continue to come out here in silence, in solitude, wherever I am, so that I have the strength, the energy, the vision, the focus, the clarity that I get out here to bring back to society to help us to break free, to liberate ourselves to liberate ourselves from this societal design that is destroying life as we know it. I hope to bring back life into this society that is so sleepy and in so many ways dead. And I want to bring that life back to society so we can wake up and we can see the nightmare that our consumerism and capitalism and colonialism is for the world, the nightmare it is for so many people, for so many of our plant and animal relatives, and for this earth. And so I want to come back with life, with vigor, with excitement, to show that another way is possible. And that way is through reconnecting with the earth, reconnecting with ourselves, reconnecting with our community, our community of humans, our community of plants and animals, to realize that we are all connected, we are all related. Because when we realize that the water is us, when we realize that we are just a part of everything, <laughs> We look at everything differently. We walk differently. We speak differently. We relate differently. We connect differently. And I come out here to remember that myself. To reconnect. Reconnect with Earth. Reconnect with myself so that I can connect more deeply with you. I'm so happy to have had this spontaneous moment to, to share with you. I hope that this receives you well. And I'm sharing some of my joy and my love and my connection with you. I love you all very much, dear friends, and I'm here with you. And I will stay here with you. And... Let's just take a moment of silence together. <sighs>